Hi everybody, it's Daphne and you're very welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to spend some of your time with me today. I am going to create this look today um, for my weekend makeup look series and I pushed myself out of my comfort zone because when I was um, showing you my palettes in my last video which I will link and um, one of you asked me and I can't remember who it was I'm sorry and um, one of you asked me would I do a look using this palette which is the LA Girl Wander and Lust eyeshadow palette and it's a very pretty palette the colors are out of my comfort zone and I purchased this maybe two months ago and I have been just using it to maybe put a little pop of colour but I did my whole look using this one palette and um, so if you want to see how I've created this look just keep watching. So for speed I have already applied my base which is the NARS Cheer Glow Foundation in Vienna and I put as a base on my eyes my uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo and Creme de Rose which I really need to replace and I've done my brows with my MUA uh, Brow Define Precision Pencil. So that's all I've done and obviously my skincare. So I'm going to apply my um, bronzer, highlight and um, blush and then do my eyes. I'm using Hoola bronzer from Benefit and um, it's just the mini. Um, it, Hoola is a good um, colour for people who are fair skinned and I think there's even one that's light as well so because sometimes you might find a bit like me that um, you can look a bit muddy. Don't forget to tap off the excess on your hand so to just warm up the skin a little bit. I want the emphasis to be on my eyes and then just blend that down. The blush I'm going to use is Clinique um, it's Melon Pop and you've seen me use this lots of times it's well used and um, my Bobbi Brown blush brush and just tap off the excess and I'm just going to pop it on here. You can actually work this quite a lot because it's the pigment is a gentle pigment, but you do get you do get color payoff. And then I always get just a nice fluffy uh, powdery powder brush to blend the two together. And I'll leave my highlight until the end. Now the palette that I'm using is one that is totally out of my comfort zone and I spoke about this in my last video when I was talking about my favorite palettes. This is the LA Girl Wander Plus Lust or Wanderlust anyway and um, it's the eyeshadow palette so um, the colors are absolutely gorgeous and uh, you've got some mattes and you've got some shimmers this isn't expensive at all and I bought this because I wanted to take push myself out of my comfort zone so what I'm going to use today is some of the sort of warm neutrals and I'm going to use this color here which is a kind of greeny color but it's sort of like an aqua or a duck egg it's a beautiful beautiful shade I might throw in a couple of others we'll see how things go and um, so I'm going to start off with this on my lid so just a little fluffy brush these are quite pigmented so now I do have the base the Maybelline color tattoo as a base as well and I'm just patting it in and going a little bit putting a little bit extra there into the crease. Do let me know if there's any particular kind of looks that you'd like me to do um, or a particular palettes you'd like me to, to um, or maybe not specifically palettes but colours that you'd like me to do a look with. And remember you don't have to use this palette if you have similar colours then that's perfect. 
I'm going to go into this darker, which is a kind of a terracotta shade. And I'm going to use this, well actually, yeah, I'm going to use the same brush. And I'm just going to go into my socket line there and into the outer V. And you can see how doing that to start deepening up the socket there, it just makes my lid space look a lot bigger because I do have hooded eyes. I'll get a fluffy brush to just blend those two. And then taking the same brush and into this same dark colour here, terracotta colour, I'm just going to run it under my bottom lid. Now I'm going to take a flat um, shader brush, if I can find one, something like this, and I'm going to go into this lovely aquamarine duck egg. It's very pigmented, so I'm going to be placing it on rather than rubbing. and just going to blend those together. And I'm going to deepen up the outside colour, the crease colour. A slightly tapered brush. And then again just Give it a little blend. Now, I think I will put a little of this. It's like a champagne -y sparkly colour there. Um, and I just have this little Real Techniques. It's, I think it's actually a concealer brush, but it's a really useful little brush. And I'll just pop that onto my brow bone. Another little blend. I have a little bottle of rose water here, which is, I'm just going to pour a tiny little bit into the lid. Tiny little bit. <clears throat> and I'm going to use this little angled brush. I think it's a MAC brush. Just moisten it a little and then tap off any excess. And I'm going into that dark terracotta shade again. And I'm going to line my lids. And I'm going to pull that out so that it is in a little um, wing. And I'm just going to soften it then. And the same on the other side. Now, if you wanted a more intense colour on the lid, you could moisten the little shader brush, the flat shader brush, very slightly and pop that in to this colour again. Sometimes they're almost like pressed pigments. And you just get a slightly more intense colour payoff. You can see that by comparison. Now back to my, let that dry, and then back to my little, I feel a bit, a bit like a mermaid. <laughs> I think I might just add in, just to soften it a little bit, um, I'll get another little flat shader brush. Yeah, here's one. 
and this lovely sort of pinky color here I think Wait, let's see yeah maybe that no actually this one here it's a kind of a pinky orangey color and I'm gonna moisten that brush a little bit this is a different flat shader brush now um, and I'm just gonna go into this lovely color here And then I'm just going to, with my little fluffy brush, blend that together. I'm going to curl my lashes off camera and apply my mascara. Now I've curled my lashes and applied two coats of the Catrice Iconista with the hemp seed oil. And I'm just looking at it, I think I'm going to apply some liquid, well, this is a, a pen liquid liner from Carter Beauty Steadfast, Steadfast Liquid Liner. So I'm just going to use it on the top, just above my lash line there. And I'm just going to pull that out into my wing. I just think the black gives it such lovely definition and drama and the same thing then out and up and then I'm going to apply some highlight and some um, concealer this is covert concealer from Carter Beauty and I'm just going to apply a little on my hand as a palette, a little flat brush here and just work that into the brush and then sort of take off any excess and I'm literally just going to pat that into the area there that I get my darkest spot. And then for lips, I'm going to use, I think this is Peach Blossom by MAC. Yeah, this is MAC Peach Blossom. And a little highlight, which is the Revolution highlighter reloaded in dare to divulge and um, it's a beautiful shade I use this little brush here and then just in with my highlighter that's the makeup look I'm gonna go and fix my hair and let you see the finished look see you in a minute so I'm back I just fixed my hair with my um, Babyliss hydro fusion styler which gives that lovely kind of freshly blow-dried um, look I have a little Zara t-shirt just one of those little v-neck Zara t-shirts and um, popped on my sort of I suppose you call those do you, do you call those double earrings I'm not sure but I love those so that's the makeup look and I hope you like it. I think it's quite pretty. I like the, just for summertime to have that little bit of um, shimmer and lighter colors. Um, I think it's a lovely look for summer. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and have a lovely weekend. And I will talk to you very soon in the next video. Take care, bye.